sure if there's fireworks. Yes! Lily value! Oh! It's so harsh! It's so harsh! This is the 7 6. Oh! Talk about Lee. Please can't take care of a 7 6 with 3. This is. Spain's dead! Spain is dead! So good. Oh. Fry them up. Oh, yeah. Send me a link, I'll check it out. I would love to actually um, <laughs> find something that I liked. Here's Brainstorm. I'm gonna get rid of this. We have a two anyway. Oh. Do I get rid of this one? This is not bad. Let's look for something different. Ah, uh, that's worse. Oh well. We can do two, three, four. It works. The twos count as threes. That's kind of one reason why I didn't put that many threes in this deck. Well, there's ten. There's plenty, actually. Uh, I think we'll use this just because we'll hopefully get a better three here, and we did. Uh, if we can pull off two, three, four, this will be just a mess. And he doesn't have lightning bolt. Wow, this could be this could be like game over on turn four here. If we can pull this off, I guess rocket on three would be good. What's up, Hoy? Yes, you definitely can. <laughs> just got better. Um, you know, hopefully not a sumo. <laughs> Here we go. Drone Engineer. Too slow. What is this? Ryan, you back? Oh, you're calling me Ryan now. Huh. I remember that. <laughs> Whoa! Podfather value, don't pass! Well, if there's a. <laughs> there's Deadbeard. No! You're evil! You got us from Eureka. Shoot, the Podfather doesn't even work now. We could do the Podfather, we could just do like dumb Podfather this turn, and then do Podfather and this next turn, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, he committed, so, well, let's just do this play, yep, Podfather value, I don't care, what's going on lazy, how you doing, how you doing man, um, you got Lily from Plucky, cool, Lily, ah, the Lily's so good, yeah, the Lily entered the RNG meta by, you know, actually being part of the game now. So it changes Plucky, it changes, um, um, I guess just Plucky. <laughs> My name's Kevin now. Okay. Okay. You can call me, you can call me whatever you want. All right, now we're doing this play. This is awesome. This is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we're gonna go with this one here. And then do the black IP from from heck. Wait, no. Oh, do we have to do a double? Oh, I guess we got to do the double. Uh, okay, fine. It's still good. It's still quite good. <laughs> this one's a four five. This one's gonna be a six seven. This is insane. Plus, he's got to play some tricks this turn. So this gets double buffed by both the Podfather and Come on, man. These peas, the especially black IPs peas that got buffed against Brainstorm. How many rockets could he have here? How many rockets is he gonna have? Nobody cares how many rockets. That's how many. That's a <laughs> bonus attack. Uh, okay, it does kill this, but again, we're going to have the double setup again. We're just going to pod... The Podfather is going to get double buffed here. Uh, this will trade. You know, this Lily trading with this thing is fine. These both get... Wait, no, wait. Is this out? No, it's not. It's dice. Okay, but this one's extra strong now. Okay, you're dead. Ooh, Lightning Bolt? No, Lightning Bolt doesn't work here. Summoning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no, oh the lily dies, too bad, he got toxic waste him. Piece of trash, really? Really? Come on, oh, that was good actually. That was pretty harsh. Um, so it's gonna be probably flaming here. Oh gosh, now what? Okay, so we can grow shroom, I kinda wanna just put a grow shroom here just so we get half the value of it. We could just go with the, um, Wait, the Groshroom here, yeah, we can go with Groshroom here. We can go with the, um, with a Pear Cub. Maybe these two? This looks pretty good. I think we're gonna do it like this. Yeah, this is a great play. And we'll Groshroom here. The Groshroom takes us out well. well. We'll buff up the Podfather, like to spread the love a little bit. 
Make multiple rockets be a thing. High cost guards with Rust Bolt. Yeah, that's, you know, it's a deck. <laughs> Locust Storm is so slow. He got Locust Storm from... <laughs> he got that. He's out of rockets, obviously, or else he would just use that. Uh, he got Locust Storm from Eureka, so he's gotten, so far, great cards from Eureka. He got the, the Keith Barrel of Deadbeards, which was a good, or Captain Deadbeard, actually, which was a good play. Uh, he got Locust Storm, which was, you know, necessary there, but we're just gonna, it's, it's just, it's just getting worse now. We're probably gonna go with Podfather Flaming. Looking pretty good, uh, uh, and the Flaming's gonna be a 7-6. Come on, man. Sign Strategy is not the greatest deck ever. Uh, do we have lethal here? This is before, and yes, yeah, this is probably lethal. So let's, uh, I'll just do it like this. That's four and seven right now. No, wait, uh, no, it's almost lethal. Sorry, it's, it's gonna be 11 damage. Oh well. Yeah, 11 on his 12. We're just doing this to make sure the seven for sure hits. And we can just do these two next turn. We're gonna need like one damage, so. Go. <laughs> he actually blocked the second one, so this was the three damage swing. The order here. Uh, we wanted to put the seven since that was guaranteed to hit. This is pretty good. He doesn't have, there's not enough rockets. We're gonna Banana Source Rex and Grocery Mid, I think. That's how we do it here. <laughs> and. <laughs> a few de dead beards, maybe? I think this is how. This is what we do, and this is how we do it. Let's do it like that. Five damage. Abra Cadaver. Uh, that's yep. That's lethal. I already used summoning, so ain't no chance. Such as what you got. Good game, Nerd. Lightning ball. <laughs> it's just disgusting. It's just another way of activating the Podfather that he doesn't die a miserable death, Lily. It really gave this deck. This is crazy. The Lily's just like a second Podfather in this deck, if you think about it that way. And you can play it on turn two, which is gross. <laughs> Soul Controller, challenge me, man. Soul Controller is the dude. I like Soul Controller. He's my, he's my man. This is Synergy, but we kind of need a better... Ugh, this is looking ugly. This is good. This is just pure fugliness. I mean, it's good eventually. Gosh, we have some th I mean, what would we want, though? Just another flaming even would be better. <coughs> we don't have an activator for this. I'm actually going to ditch it. That's usually better. It'll absorb one of his rockets or something if we grow this. Okay. Uh, because the stream cut out during his one. Uh, let's, let's use this. We could use a better three. Lily would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's better. So we're just gonna do probably two, three, four. Looks really good. The three twos are so good against Rust Bowl. He doesn't have a good way of dealing with three attack minions. And, you know, we got three flamings. This is why we're running all the flamings in this deck, by the way, for all you guys who are cynics about flaming pea shooter. In this matchup, this thing is just boss. He didn't even have to beat me up there. Is RNG Spoto good for ranked? Um, I actually included it in my playlist of high ranked, uh, high ranked decks. Um, it is uh, pretty good. I wonder if we keep our peas here. I wonder if we keep our peas in our pants. I murdered your imp. <laughs> um, which are the best five rare cards? If you're gonna craft a rare card, and it's what I did with both of my accounts, I would say the one is Weed Spray. In terms of being a low, kinda like semi-low level player and all that, it's it's one of the best. See, I, I wonder if we keep the flaming. We could flaming torchwood. We also could just grow this. Really, one damage is fine in this matchup, having one health. So I think we're gonna go with the grow. We could go with, we could just sack it and go with these two. I think we're gonna go with the grow. Go with the grow. Yeah, this is fine. Makes it win. After this match? Okay. Oh, rock. Nice. Okay. Um, I guess we'll we'll torch with there or something. Gosh, I wish I had that Podfather back now. It could be always keeping the Podfather is a good idea. What's that? I think we're gonna go with one one. Uh two.
I want to keep this alive since it's really powerful and it's a whole rocket. So let's do this. Let's do this. I don't know why I'm thinking drone engineer. Let's see what happens here. Landscaper. That's fine. <laughs> There's really no good place for the landscaper to go. You can do it in lane one. There's really no good ones. Maybe in lane four. Four. You're right. No, not in one. Four is the best. That one dies anyway, though, so he wants to keep his 2 1 alive. Not into it. Rolling Stoning Man. Okay, good play. How many tricks has he played? He's played just like the one now, right? So I'm not worried about tricks draining anytime soon. This is okay, all these trading. We, we have a board advantage, obviously. Uh, this should proc the block. I have a health advantage. <laughs> not, not anymore. <laughs> well, we have by one point. And he's used heal. Um. Lighter side. I'll check this out later. Here, I'll... Maybe I'll just open this now, and I'll put it on pause. Okay, I'll check that out after the stream. Thanks, dude. Now what? Weed spray? Play around weed spray. <laughs> weed spray denied, son! <laughs> the weed spray works... Well, it works on the Torchwood, too, but... It keeps the Peapot alive, it turns to a 3-3 next turn, so... Weed Spray is pretty horrible here. If he rockets this also, I'm so okay with that. Plus, you're going to do so much damage to him no matter what here, so... Uh, what is this? What should you save up gems for? 20 plus does not exist. I would say the 1,000 packs is the, is the right idea. And there's the Weed Spray. I've played around that magnificently. This will be a 3-3 coming to the next turn. Oh, never mind. Good play. Wow. Darn, that was a good play. Got us. Got exactly three and two. All the answers. Podfather. Ooh. This should be pretty safe. Uh, let's do it like this. Could use some more cards right now. What is this? Play it for the stream? Is it copyrighted? I might it might mess up my stream if it's copyrighted though. Probably is. Deadbeard? What is this? <laughs> 1716 Frenzy Deadbeard, I'll take it. Yeah! What do you had? Rocket weed spray. It's not bad. We're still doing very well here. This this I mean, I don't think he's gonna have another rocket. If he had another rocket, he probably would have gone with it here. We got another Podfather. I'll take it, man. Undying. So this becomes a um a 5-4. It's not enough. We're gonna have to use a bonus attack on this thing eventually. This is five. Darn. Okay, let's just develop a develop a board here. We have a bonus attack, which will hopefully take help us take care of this later. Hopefully, we can top deck a Rolling Stone there. I'll accept friend request. No, he has a Rolling Stone. What is going on? He's had every single answer, and we're still not doing that bad, actually. Wow, how are we going to deal with Undying now? Kind of stinks. Uh, Pear Cup would be a good top deck here. Are you ready to rumbo? Uh, I think we do this. Yeah, yeah. The reason is we want to proc the block with the four and hit him for seven here. Uh, doing two damage to this undying is pretty good too. He's not gonna chop, I guess, would we'll be able to remove this. Did he use chop ready? No, he didn't. This is his last one. What power is this gonna be then? Rockwell on this one? A nerf. I'm not paying attention to which powers. I think I'm getting mixed up with last game. This deck is sniping. This is more damage, though. Here we go. Yes! 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 We actually got Flourish. Just gotta take care of this freaky thing now. Heal. Are you gonna heal the Undying? We'll set up something that can do 6 damage. We're, we have the bonus attack in our hands, so... We need to save this for that. There you go. Uh, let's go three and two. Why not? 
It's fine. <laughs> great flourish. That was a great flourish. How great is flourish in this deck? This is really the only deck I feel like flourish is just really solid. And rocketed it. No! Dern! Okay. <laughs> well, getting, getting down to one here. Just gotta get one more thing here. Teleport. <laughs> He's growing this again. La la la. I'll get you, Ender, okay? Uh, down to one. Ah, uh, the block meter's looking happy, though. Come on. Any P would be fine. That is not what we needed. Come on, man. No, this card, really? Ugh. I wonder if I should have saved this combo for next turn. I mean, I probably should have. Well, uh, it wouldn't have mattered, really. This man has all the answers, and this screws this thing up. No, I don't think we're going to be able to deal with Undying anymore. I'm just doing this, I don't even care. <laughs> all the answers, I mean, come on, man. We played before, and I, yeah. This Undying Pharaoh, though. It's going for lethal. Every answer in the book. What could we get here that actually does it for us? Maybe we should have saved this in case we get a grocer. But we can't. We can't even proc his block yet. No, we got the grocer. I'm stupid. That's my problem. Go. Wow, Lily, grocer. We wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. I don't think we can win this game. Yeah, Shamrocket. Again, Paracub would be just about just as good. The Paracub really would be as good. So I took out them for the for the Paracub. So if we don't get Paracub, we wouldn't have gotten Shamrocket either, theoretically. There you go. This this works. We're gonna proc his block too here. Wait a second. We're 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 very much alive here. In fact, on the on the block, if we just hold whatever it is, this is gonna grow and be able to proc the block and set up for lethal. Is the last one chop? I guess the last one's chop, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh yeah, super we used already. Uh what's our powers? There's beam me up. Harsh. We're still doing okay. We're, we're definitely alive in this matchup here. Uh, I think we have time to shine. Protect. No, let's hold it. Yeah, the protect will be better next turn. This this grows anyway, so this kills this and procs the block, which is great. He's going to get chop here, so he's going to be able to chop one of these. Uh, we can stick something here and protect it next turn. He's top decking, by the way. No! Oh, he gets two? Oh, it doesn't matter, because he could have chopped anyway. Oh, the beam me up wins. Okay, good game. <laughs> good game, my Luke. Yeah, he got shot. Ah, oh well. A game of every answer in the book. That was a good one. Uh, maybe we should have kept this, actually. Ugh. Okay, well, two, three, four, it's a thing. Could have actually kept that. My bad. It's okay, we got Flourish, we're fine. <laughs> I'll tell you guys honestly, there is like a thing as a streamer, especially trying to be like a high level streamer of this game, that you know, I'm trying to like keep up, keep up like, you know, playing on a high level, people can actually learn. And when, when someone comes in and says, um, what do we do here? This is better. Uh, we'll do it. What is this, Dancers? Confused. Oh, uh, let's do it like this. When someone comes in and sees me lose one game out of, this is the one first game out of 13 games with this deck left, really 14 since I beat a Luke before off stream. Uh, with this deck, you lose like one game, they say, oh, he's losing his touch. It's just like, it's, it's just like so, 
it's not even insulting. It's just it's just so unintelligent that it that it like hurts. You know, here's this. Uh, Lily's a turn too late. It's so nice getting Lily on too. Later, it's <laughs> Lily, Lily now. Four cards are guardian, right? You got that right. What do we do next turn? We could banana on heights. I think we're gonna do this. I think I'm gonna protect this right now too. Cause I feel like it. And because this is really good. If this has a lot of a lot of health, it's really yeah, it would have killed this. This being a 2-5 against Boogaloo is actually really, really good here. As opposed to being a, a dead dead a dead five. <laughs> face! Oh! He's going face! That actually prevents two damage here, probably. No, it killed my Lily. Stupid guy. Come on, man. This is uh, Ender. This is Boogaloo. I'm not afraid of this deck, man. I don't know what you're trying to do. Definitely not. Uh, this is gonna be four. I guess just banana. Ooh, these Podfathers. I would love an opportunity to play Podfather. If only he would commit. Oh gosh. Here, use a plumber. I could go for it. Maybe two and two is best. Yeah, this is probably best. It's a pretty good play. It's nice to be able to play the Lily kind of when we can. How can you describe a noob? <laughs> it just means a person who's very new to a game has no idea what they're talking about. Unfriend and refriend still doesn't go. He has another plumber. Unbelievable. I mean, this grows. We get the value from that. We already got we already got enough value from the Lily to work. It, it killed this. It's like a two for one, three for one, really. Kills the dancer, absorbs the plumber, makes this get two two. So, I'll take it. Banano. Banano. I wonder if we if we go for a bonus attack here. He's just gonna locust storm. I think I'm gonna do this right now. It's a good opportunity. The pressure is good. Now I blocked the five. Oh, stupid. Watch him get lightning bolt, and this actually worked out good for him. Whatever. So unlikely. <laughs> I guess that was a two thirds of a chance, but the block was kind of sad. He's gonna he's gonna locust storm the five five now. Uh. Now we're, we're done with our turn. Banana's your favorite fruit? It's my favorite fruit too. He like us that. Still five damage on phase. And a potential block here. Um, if we get super, I'm pretty sure we're gonna use it. I don't want him coming in with, uh, you know, a combo with Flamenco or something. And getting him down to four here is really good. He rolled another three. Come on, man! These two. You know, we'll use the plant food if it's if it's relevant. This sets up this sets up potential lethal. If not, we can always like Podfather, I don't know, bonus attack or something next turn. Where do I get fry him up from? Uh, fry him up is similar to my uh, name people call me, which is Ephraim. So people just call me Fry him. So fry it, fry him up. And it's a good gaming name too. And Wrath? Okay, good play. Got some good plays here. Playing well, Andre King. It's P plant. Uh, what are we talking about, Tokyo? We're talking about the flaming pea. Uh, the flaming peas are good. They're very good against weed spray and stuff like that. Um. See, I don't know. Bonus is really good here. I think we're gonna do this. Absorb the <laughs> whatever abracadabra, whatever is in here, Kanga. I think this is the best play. We'll do the the bonus deck next turn if it's necessary. Not banana, sorry. No, nope, it's banana, not banana. Uh, you know, block lightning bolt still gets it done here. 
Oh, rolled a one. Okay, that kind of made up for everything else that happened that game. <laughs> and this little two one was like destroying us the whole game. We have well, we have the pair cups. Maybe we just need more pair cups in the deck. Whoo! I'll take it. I'll take it. This is so good to get around weed spray. Oh, I love this. Challenges aren't going through. Oh, it sucks. Here's Neptuna. Oh, it was Aluka that beat me. Yikes. Gravestone. Gravestone Neptuna. This will be a race of the tempo decks. We'll see how this goes. More chocolate. Okay. We can always do this on turn three instead of the grocery room if we want. This is really powerful. I wonder if he fronts this. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. The two cost gravestone, is it here? It's so good. We could even just flaming here if we want. There is a possibility instead of instead of doing this we're gonna flame. I kinda wanna take this headstone carver out sooner than later. And this is such a great flaming is such a good answer to this thing. No, second one. See, I think you keep two headstone carvers on the board. I think that's how this goes, so let's just start getting some insane value right now. Ooh, Rolling Stone might be a thing. I wonder if Torchwood's the best play. So you know what? If you have Rolling Stone, take your pick. That's what I say. Either we'll have a 3-3 or we'll have Insane Value next turn. By the way, the, the Torchwood on Heights isn't good because it dies to Weed Spray in this matchup. No, hadn't didn't have Rolling Stone. Okay, we're good to go. This will just ex exist for a few turns, so that'll be fine. La la la. In fact, we can just grow this. <laughs> where, where is the gravestone gonna go here? Just where is it gonna go? I think we're gonna go with this and this. That's really good. The five four here. <laughs> Deadly. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Trade. Oh wait. Oh no, it doesn't die. Oh, it gets double buffed. I forgot about that. Ah. Oh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we can we can kill. We'll finish this off with like a with like mushroom or something. And actually, no. It's, well, it trades. It's fine. This is all good. All good, man. If we get a torchwood here, okay. We'll, we'll just probably banana here, and we're good to go. <laughs> okay, it'll trade. It's fine. <laughs> we got the five four out of it. Where's our grave busters? I don't think we grow that. I think we just do this. Developing a huge card after a huge card. Bounce the plant. Take your pick, you know. The 5-4 gets blocked. He'll probably go after the banana. Yeah. Just because it's whatever. 4-6 deadly. Smelly Zombie's a good card. Oh, that gets double buffed again. Darn, he's getting good value out of these headstone carvers. At least one of them's going to die. Oh, it kind of sucks. Uh, block super. I'll take it. No, we didn't block... Ah, uh, why is nothing going well today? RNG Jesus hates us. Stupid RNG Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. Eh. <laughs> what is this gonna be? Getting warped here. We might go with the with this play. I feel like killing this thing already. Po we can't be Pogo. I'm just doing this and drawing cards. We're gonna make a a, a more serious Podfather play next turn. So we'll make this into a 5-5. Five five. There's Gravebuster when we need it. It's nice having a Gravebuster right now. Landscaper's fine, that being a 3-5 is like so incredibly okay. And this will just be a Swash or a Sumo. Probably a Sumo actually. No, Swash. Get Swashed, son. Now Super's useless. Oh, well. Woohoo! <laughs> Overpriced virus. <laughs> Are you ready to mumble? No, definitely not. I'm ready to grow this thing. 
Definitely not ready to rumble. Thanks. Get that man to sneeze. Alright. Ooh, Podfather. Podfather value. I think we do Podfather Groshroom. Or maybe just Grave Buster and... Uh, Grave Buster and go for Lethal. Hey, Grave Buster Groshroom's not bad. It's basically lethal if he plays a Gravestone here. Let's see the commit. Nah. Uh, well, it can't be... Well... Mm, darn. Wow, do we even Grave Buster here? I think we do. Podfather, Podfather, doesn't make sense. Alright, what's in the box? Give us something good! What's in the box? What? Oh, there's the smelly. Wait, so this is gonna three, unless this is like line dancing zombie. I think we're good to go here. Okay, we're going for lethal, guys. We're going for lethal. Block. Get blocked, son. I think I'm gonna grow shroom this. Yeah, it's a good play. Octopet. Oh, now we're one off. Wait, can we block? Uh, no, we can't. Oh, darn. Oh, good play. Should I have done that? Uh, anyway. Oh, this is fine. One off of lethal. <laughs> Deadly. Okay, that's fine. We're taking five. We're doing seven. Need one damage. Where's plant food when you need it? Come on. Get this man some plant food. Ah, uh, the block. We're gonna get time to shine eventually, too. Gosh, we're one off. One off. Gravestone have two now. Getting it done. What's up, banana? Glad your brother loves me. Actually, let's do this. Like that, like that. Landscape. <laughs> yes, we played around the landscape pretty well. Oh, we should have him here. Should have him. <laughs> the super was good. The super damaged uh, damaged the swashbuckler to get it within range, and that's so lethal. All right, damage the swashbuckler to get it within range, and proc the block. Procking the block is worth so much. You protect me up so I can stand on. Nobody cares why you protect me up. So this is double lethal, actually. And value tempo play. All of his powers are so tempo also. Good game, man. GJ. Platinum's using Neptuna. I, I know this is control Neptuna already, so let's just play around this deck. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do here. Whee! Uh... Hey, 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 What do we, what do we want? What do we want? This is good on two. This is on three, I guess. Well, we'll have options on three. Okay, it's good to have options on three and keep the peep out. Yeah, pop out. Okay, fine. How can you send messages to friends in game? You go to the little friend list. It's up here in the top left corner. You click that and there should be a little speech bubble. This is good. Is this a peep? Doesn't matter. Oh! Oh! Not good in this matchup, because there's just either going to be Rolling Stone or Sumo on two. Which is going to suck badly. <laughs> so... Too many! There's too many of them. Absorb the Rolling Stone? Okay, let's do this to absorb the Rolling Stone. There you go. We are absorbing it. We could go with the Flaming, but I'd rather get that with the Podfather value, so... Hey, 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 hey. We used to have hundreds hundreds of viewers, but I stopped doing the YouTube. When I got the new rig, I'm going to start finding a new way of dual streaming. It's a whole thing. Okay, so this is either line dancing. Uh, what are we going to do? Come on, give me a play. Darn. It could be Line Dancing Zombie, Landscaper. Those are the two, or Smelly. 
Landscaper, this sucks so badly. Line Dancing Zombie. <sighs> You know what? This is good either way. <laughs> Let's just do this. Nobody cares. Let's just do this. And this. Yeah, why not? Got that value. There you go. <laughs> With the value play. It's line, line dancing. Okay, so swing and a miss. <laughs> it's, I just couldn't play the Podfather because we're 50% of the time totally screwed on the on the gravestone. Give that man a Spirus. I, it's like, I, I know this deck list, it's just, it's just there's four of each usually, Landscapers. Uh, I messed up with the Landscaper last night. Okay, this goes dry, that's fine. That is fine. It's four now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just Grow Shroom this. We could go with these two, actually. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> Why are you passing on four? Ah, oh, are we getting Weed Sprayed this turn? Darn, we're getting weed sprayed. Okay, we gotta play against around weed spray. All right, we'll do this. This is disgusting, actually. I'm gonna grow this one. The lily can die. I don't care about the lily. The, the two five is better. So this is eight damage to face. <laughs> Teamed up, up in here, up in here. We're taking three. It's weed spray. Oh, playing around this deck. Bounce. No. Get the. Groshroom. Yes. Thank you. Get the half of this back. Get the power back at least. This is a 4 7. This is such a power. Look at the 4 7 Torchwood. You kidding me, man? So now we'll probably set up a second Lily play. The Podfather. We're going to do the peas to, to finish off here. Hey, 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 hey. I could go with a Podfather play here, but. In fact, two and three. Let's just set up the Podfather this turn. You know what? It's the way we roll. We're gonna get blocked badly here, but who cares? All right, that's fine. All good. All good. Move a plant. <laughs> www.moveaplant.com. <laughs> this goes back. No, this doesn't go back. Oh, it's when it's played. Okay, yeah. Sumo and, and chicken don't work together. That's fine. I'm happy taking this out though. Deal, pet. Uh, we could use a nice block right about now. Right about now. Right about now. We're gonna get some insane P value here. I just love to pee. I love to pee. Peeing is my favorite thing. Uh, we're gonna do this, I think, next turn. Yeah. Time to shine is like the best power ever. So it's gonna be PP Torchwood uh, shot. That's how it's gonna go. That's how it's going down. Sure do love my PP. Wait. Okay. So now we go. Darn. Okay. It's P. P. Torchwood. Shoot him right in the freaking face. Right in the right in the head. Shoot him in the head. Uh yeah. More damage is better here. We'll see if that one damage swing made a difference. I wonder. Move a plant. Moveaplant.com. Where are you gonna move it? <laughs> that behind. Good play. Bounce a plant. It's just gonna go for the flaming, I think. No, went for that. Not caring about the, the five damage to face really against this deck, huh? Well, he want he wants to do his own five damage. Um, Super wins on the block, actually. Uh, I rolled a three. Come on, Super. Don't roll a second three. If he rolls double threes here, then good for freaking you, you know? Come on, man. Come on. What? Why? He rolled. You don't understand what happened there. You don't understand what happened there. He just took a risk and he rolled freaking double threes. Are you kidding me, man? This is so stupid. Come on. <laughs> this salt is real. Give that man some le less salt. Whatever. 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 <laughs> I don't even care about this game anymore. Okay. Now this is lethal. 
Oh no, Octopet! Sumo, so you can move one of these Torchwoods out of the way. Good. Move, Torchwood, get out of the way. He can't prevent this. We should have him here. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, baby, two triples. Oh, baby, two triples. Salty Salsa is right. And what? And Rolling Stone. Okay, that's game. He's doing that. I mean, what if he had Rolling Stone and eh, nothing really? And Friends A. No, does not. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy I won that anyway. I would just be so salty if that would result in us losing. It's salty enough it happening anyway, but. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Popcat. Fix that block meter. Ah. Salt storm. <laughs> Hashtag salt storm. I'll take it. Alright, that's five. Five and one now? Jeez, jeez. Who is that plan of? <sighs> Control Neptuna though. We're we're doing it. We won lost to that Rust Bolt, but I'm not I'm not shaken from that loss. It was a that was a really salty loss anyway. It we do need some answers to cards like Undying Pharaoh and and, and whatnot. We really have no answer to um to defensive end either. This, real, this deck really does have a lot of weaknesses, but it is very fast, so sometimes it just outspeeds those weaknesses. Like, the, the, the games with this deck don't even go to turn six always. What have we got here? Unfortunately, we're mulliganing this card. Gotta get a two. Gotta get a two. Okay, we're getting rid of the one now. Ooh! Ooh! It works! Oh, I'll take it. We're actually gonna try the pair cup on heights here. It's pretty good It's a 3-3 that they're gonna be so freaking reluctant to get rid of I'm gonna do this later with the bananas I believe I believe I'm gonna save that it's kind of weird even though we could use we have a good see if I didn't have a good 2-3 Which we have uh, excellent 2-3 and 4 I would probably draw cards there just to get more plays But in the meantime, I'm gonna save this for the Bananasaurus Rexes Just to get him get him going I think we go with this Lightning bolts? He passed, so he usually actually has lightning bolt. But you know what? If this gets lightning bolted, this is a good ab ab absorb absorbing of the lightning bolt up in here. We'll just go with this and it'll be safe. Okay, he had it. What rank is he, by the way? I don't remember. Darn. The bananas? Not the banana. I should call him bananas from now on. Okay. Okay. Now what? Okay, he passed and he used Lightning Bolt. Now here's a Gravestone. I'm really feeling, um... I think I always front this one. We could go... I think it's gonna be Kite Flyer. That's just my thought. I'm still saving this. And... No! Ah! When you mispredict the Gravestone for losing the game. That could, like, literally... Come on, man! Darn. Oh, the pear cup would have been so good there. Hashtag sucks to be me. Give that man a spirus. I guess maybe I shouldn't have predicted the gravestone there. I should have just gone with it. Anyway. Now what? Another one. This electrician's are... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, no, not yet. We'll do this later. When we get the next electrician, we'll do this. So I think we're gonna banana and draw cards here. Uh, could use a pod father at some point. There's Grave Buster. My Grave Buster, yeah? It's gonna be Rocket. So how do we play the best around Rocket? We could do these. It's not bad. I almost don't want to do the banana play yet. Well, the banana play, actually, this is a 5-5. Five five. It's kind of disgusting. We could do all of this, though. Yeah, I think so. Are you ready to mumbo? <laughs> Sucks to be fry. <laughs> today. Everything's going wrong today and we're still fine. I'm so surprised we've actually won five out of six of these games because we've had all these games where just everything's going wrong. This game's going, uh, actually, actually much better. 
<laughs> Except for our misprediction, but that was my fault, you know, I, I took the risk and... Ooh, proc the block. Got that big, huge card on the, on the board. On the board! Ooh, it hit! Nice! Nice! Let's be pod. Give that man a pod, father. Rocket again. It's not enough rockets. Not enough rockets to go around. Uh, this is a great play, by the way. I couldn't imagine us not peapotting here. The peapot is just to proc the blocks so of this wins. Woo! Go! I forgot the lily. Lily value. What's going on, Pally? How you doing, Pally? He played it on heights. So? Oh, Chopper. Okay, well, at least he trades. <laughs> Watch him get summoning here. Yep. <laughs> it's just... Come on, cat lady! <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. Ah. Well, we have a handful of answers here. At least this trades. I don't want that thing being on the board and him winning with, like, oh, gadget sciences. Pass! The man has passed, folks. They see me rolling, I'm swinging, trying to catch me riding dirty. Let's just get as much value from this as possible. Riding dirty, riding dirty. I'm gonna save this one. It doesn't do really do anything here. Get to the chopper. That's right. <laughs> That's actually good. No, it doesn't even help though, because this thing is gonna be a seven eight. What could he have? Nothing! Oh, in trouble. Give us plant food. This is like the time of the game where just plant food is just the best card in the game. Come on, plant food. No. Why are we getting Torchwoods? Not good. We have to keep an eye on these Torchwoods to see if these are actually good in this deck. I, I imagine they actually... Well, they're good with the Lily. Oh, Great Buster. Yes! For the win! For the freaking win! Boy! Kite. I still say we don't do this. Doesn't make any difference here. Chickening? Probably chickening. We still win. We got him too. If he removes this, it kills. Yeah, there we go. We have to be. Yeah, it's chickening. Figured it. Figured it out. That's guaranteed. Guaranteed lethal. Plumber to face. No! Not my face! It's the stinky face. Good old Rakishi move. All right, who who knows who Rakishi is and understands the reference? I love testing you guys on your pop culture references from the ni like '90s pop culture references. I'll take it. There we go. Uh, what is this? Same in a good nacht. That's all I can say. This is not good in this matchup, dude. Okay, uh, we don't need two of these. Lily. Woo! Ah! Okay, I think we're gonna keep this and do these two on three. Give Fry some German skills. Dog, you're annoying. No. You lily me up so I can stink on my tears. Lily me up. You literally lily me up. Let's see what the play is here. We have to take it out, so... He's going with the aggro deck. We'll get some lily value later. We'll probably stick the banana on heights now or something. Yeah, it's gonna be lily, uh, torchwood. Torchwood will take this out. This was great value. You know, zookeeper on two is just not a good play. Uh, especially with this deck, we have a lot of things to take it out. Okay, we could grave buster. This is probably rats. We also could do the lily play and let this thing die. I think the lily play is better right now. What else could this be, though? Well, let's just do this. It's nice to get the lily out. It'll lily build above the Bananasaurus Rex, which will mean that he's going to have to get a Locust Storm, and he'll be able to get some other things out in the meantime. Like, if, if the Smash having to Locust Storm anything we get buffed by Billy is just, just whatever. We could have survived this. doesn't really matter. Rolling Stone would be really good here. 
in either lane. This would be better. No Rolling Stone. Please. Super on that. I would have gone after the Lily there, but I guess he likes his, his dudes on. Gosh, if we get Super here. No. Nibble, 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 nibble. It's almost always going to be banana. It's going to be the, the pets versus the pets. Eh, I hate that. I could go for the double. Let's just get our value out of this and call it a day. This will bounce this thing. So in terms of tempo, this kangaroo comes off the field now. We have protect. We have so many things that get this. The he does. He is backing locust storms in this deck. Um, hopefully we'll get a podfather next turn. Would be a good pickup. Give that man a podfather. Flaming. It's not bad though. Flamings are good against the smash since he's a hardy hero. Doesn't have a way of dealing too damage. He's got a locust here, so let's just let's just set up the pressure. This is fine. Six damage is worth it. You six damage me up. So we'll proc the block, do three. Uh, we have you know plant food and all that. Nailed it, locust swarm. <laughs> You can make the amount of play, really the main skill in order to be coming from a low level player to a high level player is to memorize which which class has which cards because just in that, like in that instance, just knowing that Smash's removal on turn five, you know, his only real hard removal, he passed turn five, he's going to go with the Locust Storm. You can just make so much, such a higher quality play than having, you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's go for the kill here. Gilligan down. Gilligan down. <laughs> Should be lethal. Love plant food. Great, great finisher. It's in this deck. It's. That's a great finisher. Should have him here. If not, we'll have him down to two. What can he do though? Nibble? He doesn't really have anything that can prevent this. It's just him rolling double threes here, which, based on our luck. Uh, the song ended. We'll put on smooth, funky smooth thing. Fry versus the Smash. So he needs double threes to win, to survive, not even to win. No, that's good. Nailed it! 90% in the tournament. It's in the tournament where people are coming in with freaking toxic waste index and all kinds of things trying to exploit this, but this deck really is a little bit too fast for toxic waste him, to be quite honest. What is your problem, dude? I wonder if I keep this. Do I keep it? Do I want to draw cards? Do I keep Flourish with a good curve? Yeah, I do. SpongeBob Remix? I'm not going to look at it now. Leave it in a YouTube comment. Maybe I'll see it. Do I want to draw cards? Do I want to do it? I don't even know. Nobody cares. Uh, we're going to use these for the banana, I guess. Nah, let's just do this now. Tell you what. Better plays are always better. We're almost for sure going to Flaming on 2, just so we don't get Rolling Stones. I'm not going to make that mistake again, even if we get Lily here. But maybe we'll get a, 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 a fourth P, and that'll set up a turn 4 play or something. Let's go to Nath. Yeah, channel's growing. That's good. Uh, Rolling Stone. Denied. Denied, son. It's 3-2. Three, 2s two. three, are good. <laughs> against Hardy Heroes, 3... This is like the best 2 drop against any Hardy Hero. And we got a Grave Buster. Yes! Hopefully he's not sniping. Or listening. Listening is also sniping. Okay, Line Dancer. It's probably Line Dancer. Other options are... Um, the Smelly he would have done here, so that's out of the option. Do you know what? Landscaper he also would have done here, so it's definitely Line Dancing Zombie. 
I'm gonna go with the strong play. Which is oops, not that. We're gonna save this for the for the pogo next turn. I'm gonna go with this, and I wanna keep the heights lane open. The line dancer does not take this out, and he does not have a way of dealing one damage also. So Hey look, it's a line dancing zombie! Yeehaw! Take your pick, man. <laughs> Kill my 2-1. He's gonna just go over here to this lane. And this will just die to super eventually. No, it went after it. Okay, want to prevent the five damage. It's not a bad play. He did three. He, he, you know, he got this within reasonability. We have the Grave Buster. We're gonna see a Gravestone this turn. It's gonna be Pogo. So we're just gonna Gravestone and, um... No! Oh, because he's running Rooster! No! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, let's do this. Shucks. Shucks. This flourish is not going to come in handy for a while. Eh. Hate that. I wanted him to rolling stone this. That would have been amazing. No, and you get Octo. Whatever. This literally, this roll of getting Octo, get, rolling a three and then rolling another three by getting Octo. That was double threes. That will literally make the whole difference in this game now. That is the whole difference. sucks. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully it's just a surprise guard. Please be surprise guard. Blind answer. Well, do you know what? Let's do this. This is fine. We'll, we'll do the Podfather when we're actually going to get value, and we will get a lot of value from the Podfather later. Defensive end is coming up next turn. Three against four. Oh, there's Rolling Stone. Nice! Yes! Drew it out. I'll take it. There's that. So, Podfather play is really best next turn when we have seven. There's that. I'm gonna do it like this. Oh no! It went the wrong. No! <sighs> whatever. It just misclicked. I, I meant to do the banana there, but whatever. <sighs> so stupid. And it's a smelly zombie, too. No, I meant to do the banana. You know how much damage that would be? That would be six damage on his 11. That, another play that makes us lose. Okay, here's this. <laughs> that was good. Good roll. Again, one and three. Okay, we got something lucky there. Oh, that still sucks, though. Okay, we're gonna do this play. I'm gonna sack the Podfather, I believe. We have heights, too. The Lily doesn't really help here. It, this is the play. And tricks. I don't know what kind of tricks are gonna happen, but... <laughs> watch it be watch it be Zomba. Watch him run Zomba and bounce in this deck. Well, why would you pass turn seven? Unless you're actually running Zombot Bounce. Stomp, I mean, whatever it's called. Eh. Weed Spray does not help. Well, that's lethal. There's nothing you can do to prevent it. Weed Spray. I wonder what this Neptuna had in her hand, but there's nothing that... Oh, I guess Bouncing. Well, Bouncing 5. Lane 5 Bounce. Lane 4, I mean. Really? <laughs> Today is the most unlucky day. Everything is going wrong. Come on, man. Where's plant food? Give that man some plants. What is happening? Here's Plank Walker. Watch it land in. Watch it land in lanes two and three and four. Also, no water lane. Okay, we got it. Okay, that's lethal. Ah, <laughs> so stupid. It's so dumb. Whatever. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's, it's lethal no matter what. Uh. <laughs> Man, if I was keeping luck score today, it would be it would be about ten to hundred right now. How many? I got one lucky thing. I got super on on the block, which was good there, and we got rid of those flamings. Which without that, we probably would have lost that game. But man, this deck's beating Control Neptuna. This deck is whooping Control Neptuna. 
I mean, with all the, I mean, it was that game was close, but it was got so got lucky on unlucky on every turn. Here we go. Need this later, not earlier. It's a curve, but it sucks. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> what is this? You're dead. What's going on, Luke? Turning uh some people played some BS decks today too. Two people play Toxic Waste him decks. Watch Johnny actually pull a Toxic Waste. He's so gonna do it, by the way. Just because he's a pain in the tush. I know he for sure is gonna do it. Um, I did stream Control Brain Freeze once. It was not as good as the other two, you know, the, the Neptune and the Infinity were in, impossibly good. Uh, we're going to set this up just so we have for sure something to grow. This really, you know, growing this one against Infinity is pretty good. A 2-5 is actually good against Infinity since he doesn't have, you know, he's not a hero with Weed Spray or anything like that. What's going on, J Wally? How you doing, Wally? Why are you dead? Give that man some life. Freaking A. Freaking A. Let's control, control Infinity. Okay. It's the revelation, man. Move, rooster! Get out the way! That rooster will sit there until we get until we get super. That's just how this 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 goes. That's how this works. Oh, you're laughing at him, Wally. Okay. Here we go. Line dancing zombie. R rest in peace, line dancer. <laughs> it's so line dancer. Is a hundred thousand million percent line dancing. Woo look, what a what a surprise. That great buster is good. Here comes the um the pogo, but we're we're far enough ahead right now that uh, the pogo is actually still really good. I guess we're gonna grow this one. If we see a gravestone here. This is how this this goes. Or do we just give him a second thing to pogo? No, we have to kill the pogo. Right, so he doesn't mix up gravedigger next turn. Uh, where does this go? We want this to proc the block next turn, so we're gonna grow this one. Right, so now it, this denies the mixed up Gravedigger. Do I protect this? In case it's small, smelly zombie. I don't care. Don't, the protect is better later. It's smelly zombie. I could have protected it. I think we're gonna get better value out of the protect. Smelly zombie does bite the dust here. Oh, so interesting. Wait, he must have a plan. He must have like a plumber in hand. He was planning on plumbering this and killing this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Got him. Wait, this is up to two. He's going to chickening next turn? Maybe he has barrel. He probably has the barrel combo. He's just going to clear our field. Protecting this one now is really good. So we're probably going to... Um, Banana Source Rex and, and do this one. There's fireworks. I am so confused. So confused. Let's do this. Here we go. I like playing Banana Source Rex in the last lane because then when you block, it, you, it can grow and do extra damage. Uh, generally, I like doing that. It doesn't have. I didn't put any delay in the stream today. Oh no! He's so doing the the, the shark this turn. No! <laughs> Here comes the shark. We gotta just beat out that shark. Just beat that out. Well, we're gonna win if he shark. Where is he gonna shark? He's gonna sh well, yeah, anyway. No shark. Here it comes. Wait, so grave digger. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Um, so we got two, two, and two. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. This one's better. Gravebusters won that game. The two Gravebusters absolutely won that game. Boom. And the plumber doesn't help. Yeah, that's that's gonna be lethal, guys. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be lethal. Good game, Ender. Ender King, you played really well though. I really liked our game, but it was it was uh what did you use again, Ender? Use the boob deck. You you played well, and you you did exploit us in the water lane there. You really got us down to like three or something. And <laughs> she's quit. <laughs> Johnny, good game though. Man, I thought you were gonna pull the shark there, Johnny. I really thought that was gonna be shark. I actually would not have had an answer. We would have had to re. I would have had to pass that turn. Um, 
take take uh like eight da like uh, how much damage? It would be seven damage from the shark there. You know, proc the block, seven damage, and then somehow try to deal the remaining seven damage. Uh, we would have to top deck plan food in order to really win if he got shark there. Give that man a shark. The shark is so good in this deck. Ah, I'm so happy he dodged that boy. <laughs> So they're good. This is a great starting hand. Against Boog, it just depends on the matchup. Against Boogaloo, this is an amazing starting hand. And even if he lightning bolts the, 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 the black IP on two, he can still have something to grow on three. It's just perfect. This is when, this is how you torch win. This is how you do it, man. Walnut bowling commands? No. You have 400 stars? Cool. Cool. Whoa. This, it's so interesting. This is a Podfather deck, guys. Podfather decks were dead in the meta. We're talking about totally and utterly dead. Ooh, he's going to Lightning Bolt. What if he has not doesn't have Lightning Bolt, but he has Plumber? I want this to survive since it's so much better. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. <laughs> he's so Lightning Bolting this thing. Drawing it out. I want Black IP, but don't if he can't kill this. No, he's Nibble. Darn. Okay. Um, okay, the grocery room's still good, though. That nipple's gone. Is this control infinity? Uh, no, that one's supposed to be control. Yeah, it is. Whew. Okay, so we could grow. We could do these. This is gonna make some problems, too. Some matchup problems. Especially with the banana. You know what? This is control boogaloo. So just because we know the matchup, we're gonna... We could actually grow shroom. No, the grow shroom's not as good. This is good. This is kind of a disgusting play, but we're doing this just to make three minions on the board. Chickening does not help against this board here. We're gonna Bananasaurus Rex next turn, obviously. And um, next turn, you know, the, the what's it called? The piano next turn is not gonna help. There's really, he's gonna fall behind. The way to beat this deck is really to out-tempo it. Uh, tempo beats control typically, especially this control boogaloo deck. It's such a typical control deck. Pass, see now we do this. Um, yeah, this is fine. Uh, we'll grow things later. You know, it's cake or whatever, but it's too slow. It grows that now. Boom. And backup dancers. Ay ay. Swing and a miss. Six damage. Okay, down to ten here. And these things propping our block are so good, are so good. This is gonna be turn five, so we can't do the um, maniacal yet. Ooh. Okay, so it's gonna be Locust Storm. We gotta keep the pressure going. Oh, I wish I could do these two together. Play on chickening? No, he can't chickening though. If he chickenings, he's dead. So I'm actually doing this. So weird when I'm doing this play. He can't chickening. If he ch uh, he can, but he's gonna take seven damage out of ten. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's too slow. He's gonna he chickening. Okay. <laughs> we don't even have any other peas. It was like a decoy. <laughs> it was so good. He can't, doesn't have evaporate either. Oh, it's five. Okay, it's five damage. It's still a lot. Are you ready to rumble? No. Definitely not ready to rumble. So the gross room here is good. Let's see what else we got. Pea pod. It's not bad. Second chickening. I'm gonna do this. I think I'm actually gonna grow this one. I'm basically making these all out of all 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 out of chickening range, or out of splash damage range. And now he's gonna have to spend you know single single garbage doing every single play now. I wonder if I keep this on the field. Uh, the torchwood's really chickening doesn't help this turn. 
I'm actually doing this. I want this to stay alive. That's kind of weird, but this this actually might... The one more minion might actually really help here. There's that. So this is a 1 in 3 of lethal right now. We have 5 damage on his face. Unless he has... There he has plumber. Okay. 1 in 3. Come on. Yes! Got him. <laughs> Good game. Alright, that'll be the last one. Good game, Mi'kmaq.